In this video, we'll go over how to use the Casio FX9860G or FX9750G2 calculator to compute expected value and standard deviation for a discrete probability distribution. In order to enter the probability distribution in your calculator, you need two pieces of information. One is the value for X, which in this case is the month's column, and the other is the relative frequency of that value for X. In this scenario, we're looking at a management trainee program, which is 16 to 18 months long, and how long before people are promoted out of that management trainee program. We want to know the expected value and standard deviation. Let's look at our calculator. We will, on the menu button, click the 2 to get to the stat menu, and then we're going to enter the months in list 1, the probability in list 2. Going down the column, 12, and then hit the EXE button, 13, 14, and so on, all the way through 18. Then we come over to the next column and we enter our relative frequency. Now we're ready to do some calculations on this. We'll press the F2 button to get to the calc menus. Before we go to one variable statistics, which is what we're going to use, we need to tell the calculator to use list 2 to draw frequency for the statistics. So I'm going to click the F6 button to go to the set menu, down arrow, and for var frequency, click the F2 button and tell it you want to use list 2, hit EXE. Now hit the exit button, F1 for one variable statistics, and there are the numbers. The X bar, the first value, is your expected mean, your E of X, and X sigma N is your standard deviation for this probability distribution. And that's how you use the Casio to compute expected value and standard deviation for a discrete probability distribution.